doing a little unboxing and a review on this uh, on some of these uh, budget figures that I've gotten off of Amazon. This is the uh, For You. It's a For You Jama uh, Mikasa Ackerman from uh, from Shingeki no Kyojin or Attack on Titan. It's the box. And uh, believe it or not, I got this figure for 15 bucks, and it was local. I got it like fast. Didn't have to have to get it from Japan or Hong Kong or China. In America. Now I don't. Now since it's so cheap, I I'm wondering if this is a knockoff. Yeah, sorry. I don't ha I don't have a cool uh, motorized uh, spinner. But uh, it is made in China. It, ha it does have a sticker, a Kodansha sticker here. It's the box art. Yeah, that was the main reason I got that. Well, I've always wanted an Attack on Titan figure, but they're always so expensive. And then uh, I saw this for 15 bucks, and I jumped on it. It was on, it was on sale. It's a little more now. So let's go open it up. It's a anyway. It's a vertical maneuvering special figure Mikasa. So here she is, uh, right next to the box. Sorry about the glare. The box art is actually really nice. But the box is really flimsy. So anyway, there she is in the plastic. It's got the protective plastic on the inside. I I would say, um, hmm. yeah, I would say I probably would this, you could display it in the box, but you could probably should take this plastic uh, protection out. So there she is. And it is a, well, it's not an action figure, but definitely looks like she's in action. Okay, the two parts come apart pretty easily. And uh, so this is the stand. It's pretty cool. It's supposed to be like a, a broken piece of the wall. Cool. This is the figure. at the pack for the blades. So, all right, let me go put this together. All right, here are the three things that come in that small pack. It's uh, the two blades and um, and this little hook harpoon dealy. I'm not really sure where that goes, so uh, we'll figure that out. So the way she mounts is um, she's got these pegs on her feet and one on like her toe here. And then that one of them goes into the wall, two of them go into the base. That's that's good. If she's got a lot of support. I one thing I don't like about um, these figures that show like a lot of motion and stuff, they start drooping after a while. And I don't think this one will droop. She's pretty stable. Okay, so there she is. I got her together. There's not enough light in my little photo booth, so I, I turned the light on my phone. So now she's got a little shadow, but there she is. So, um, 
one of the blades went in pretty easy, and then the other one was extremely hard. Well, not extremely, but pretty hard to get it into the hilt. And then that little um, that little harpoon dealie goes from uh, the gear, or uh, maneuvering gear right here. And I have to say, it's not, it's crooked. Look at it. Um, you figure she's like hanging off the wall, right? So it should be straight. It should be tight. And it doesn't. And it, it has a little indentation in the wall. It's it's kind of hard to get it the way, you know. So it looks right now. It looks pretty good, but you got to kind of finagle it a little. It's like I think it would be fine without it, you know. But um, it's a good figure. It looks nice. I've already spotted a a few uh, imperfections in it, so it's. But for fifteen dollars, I would say this is totally worth it. I mean, um, I don't know if it's a knockoff or not, but if it is, it's a pretty good one. If it's, uh, and like I said, for the money, I believe I, it's totally. I think it's totally worth it. It's very nice. So a couple things I've noticed are that um, if you look at here on her back, the paint for that for that that unit patch logo is kind of like it's not like dark totally. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it looks like it could be it could have been painted on more. Um, like her hair. See some some of the there's like some scratches in her hair, and there's like a pretty big mold line on her head. Not the prettiest. Paint's a little dirty. Like you can see a paint smudge or some some kind of. Come on, focus. You focus. Yeah, you can see that on the, on the collar. Face looks good. It looks a little sleepy eyed, but I mean, hey, that's a uh, Mikasa, right? <laughs> Overall, I think the paint is good. You can see like a little brown on her knee there, or it shouldn't be brown. For the most part, everything is mostly in the lines. The blades are good, they're fairly straight. That harpoon is not very, very straight. Other than that, it's a solid figure. Um, you can see those uh, leather, the sort of leather painted on bands are missing some paint. I believe I saw um, right here, fingerprint smudge. There's like a fingerprint smudge right there, right here. There's some white on her jacket right there. More white here. It doesn't seem to want to come off either. So yeah, I mean there's some imperfections, it's not perfect. But for a $15 figure, I'd say it's a pretty damn good deal. It, the molding is very good, in my opinion, and um, the po her pose is very nice. It's kind of like she's stuck to a wall. The hair, the hair didn't really turn out too well on this. Kind of got like a big uh, mold line right here big gap but for 15 bucks I'd say it's a pretty damn good deal I like it I like it a lot I'm glad to add it to my collection 
I believe they're like $18 now. But uh, I think I've seen these at... Um, I think I've seen these for maybe 30 at um 30 or 40 at um Kinukania. Cuz I believe I saw, but I think it was a it was a Aaron figure, I think. I don't know, none of the none of the Aaron figures I I like, so the next one is going to be a Levi. So I'll go take some better pictures. Hopefully they'll Turn up better in the video, but uh, let's do a little bottom of the top. And I apologize, my setup is not the best. Look at that cool maneuvering gear. It's awesome. It's like she's ready for action. Uh, one thing I'd like to add is um, her foot. Um, the right foot was for, I, I put this uh, one down first, her left foot. And then her right foot was like, I had to kind of like tweak it. So like, so it would stay in that, uh, that part of the wall. So, uh, yeah, but she's on there. I don't think she's going nowhere. Even an earthquake, even during an earthquake, she'll stay there. A little disappointed in that little hook dealy there. But I, I didn't even know, you know, it came with it, so I never noticed. It's a very nice figure. It's, um, I don't know, what do I have to compare it with? I don't really know what size it is. Yeah, so I don't, I don't really know what her scale is, but she seems to be about five inches, maybe a little more than five inches tall. Around that area. So very nice for, for a budget figure. I like it a lot. And, um, and a lot of Attack on Titan figures and merchandise is really pricey. So 15 bucks, I'm totally satisfied with this. I'm not a man of 